Imagine looking up at the night sky, feeling the cool air on your skin, and letting your mind wander among the endless stars above. Each tiny point of light is a sun, possibly with its own family of planets and perhaps just perhaps another world like our own is out there waiting to be discovered. Now picture realizing that one of those distant twinkling lights might actually host a planet with oceans, mountains, and maybe even life. The idea that another Earth could be circling a nearby star is both thrilling and humbling. For centuries, stars were just unreachable mysteries, enigmatic beacons in the darkness, inspiring myths and dreams but always out of reach. Humanity could only wonder what secrets they held, but what if right next door in cosmic terms, we found a planet that could harbor life, a place close enough to study, yet far enough to spark our imagination. This is the story of Proxima b, a discovery that electrified science and ignited new hope in the search for life beyond Earth. Suddenly, the possibility of neighbors in the universe felt real. The implications are staggering. Finding life beyond Earth would change everything about how we see ourselves in the universe. It would challenge our philosophies, our religions, and our sense of uniqueness. If life exists on Proxima b, it suggests life could be common, not a rare fluke. It would mean the universe is teeming with possibilities and that we are not alone in our quest to understand existence. Suddenly the universe feels less lonely, more like a cosmic community. The night sky becomes a tapestry of potential neighbors, each star a possible home. Proxima b is our first real chance to test the idea that life is a fundamental property of the cosmos, not just a miracle confined to Earth. The search for life here is a proxy for the search everywhere. Every discovery brings us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone? Even finding simple microbes would be monumental. It would prove that life can emerge in places we never imagined, under conditions we once thought impossible. It would show life's resilience and open new fields of science and philosophy, forcing us to rethink what it means to be alive and what forms life might take. We'd no longer be the only beings to ponder the stars. The universe would feel more connected and our place in it more profound. Such a discovery would ripple through our culture, art, and sense of self. It would inspire new stories, new dreams, and new ways of seeing our world. It would force us to see ourselves as just one part of a much grander living cosmos, a single note in a universal symphony. The possibility alone is enough to inspire awe and wonder, reminding us that the universe is full of mystery still waiting to be revealed. So, what exactly is Proxima b and why has it captured the imagination of scientists and stargazers alike? It's an exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, just 4.24 light-years away, practically in our cosmic backyard. In cosmic terms, that's next door. If our galaxy were a city, Proxima Centauri would be the house just down the street. Proxima b is a rocky planet, slightly larger than Earth with a solid surface that could in theory support mountains, valleys, and maybe even lakes or oceans. Its discovery in 2016 was the result of years of careful observation, detecting the tiny wobble of its star caused by the planet's gravity, a subtle dance that only the most sensitive instruments could reveal. Finding an Earth-like world so close was a dream come true for astronomers, sparking hope that we might one day find signs of life beyond our solar system. Proxima b orbits its star in just over 11 days much closer than Mercury is to our Sun. This means a year on Proxima b is less than two weeks long. Its star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf, smaller, cooler, and dimmer than our Sun, bathing its planet in a faint, reddish glow. Red dwarfs are the most common stars in our galaxy, making up the majority of the Milky Way's stellar population. If their planets can support life, the universe could be teeming with it, perhaps even more than we ever imagined. Proxima b is our best shot at exploring this question, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the possibilities of life elsewhere. We didn't see the planet directly, we inferred its presence from its effect on the star, using the tiniest shifts in starlight to reveal a hidden world. It's like detecting a flea on a dog by watching the dog twitch from miles away, a feat of astronomical detective work. Proxima b is more than a data point, it's a symbol of our ability to reach out and touch distant worlds, to imagine what might be waiting for us out there. It marks a new chapter in our exploration where our neighbors are not just stars but other worlds, each one a potential home, a new story waiting to be told. The search for life has never felt so close, and Proxima b stands as a beacon, inviting us to keep looking, keep wondering, and keep reaching for the stars. 
The discovery of Proxima b, a potentially habitable planet orbiting our nearest stellar neighbor, ignited a wave of excitement and bold predictions from visionaries like Michio Kaku. Kaku believes that, with our rapidly advancing technology, we may finally make contact with alien intelligence within this very century, a prospect that once seemed like pure science fiction. Ambitious projects like the Square Kilometer Array will soon allow us to scan millions of stars for even the faintest signals, vastly increasing our chances of detecting extraterrestrial life. Kaku suggests it's only a matter of time before we overhear the cosmic chatter of another civilization, perhaps a simple greeting, or a complex message echoing across the stars. He explores fascinating ideas like the zoo theory, which proposes that advanced alien societies might be quietly observing us, waiting for humanity to mature, or perhaps simply uninterested in our primitive ways. To them we might be like squirrels in a park, curious, energetic, and unaware of the greater world around us, not yet worthy of a conversation or direct contact. Whether such contact would be peaceful, enlightening, or potentially dangerous remains unknown, and many scientists urge caution as we reach out into the cosmic dark. Still, the pull of curiosity is strong. Humanity has always been driven to explore, to ask questions, and to seek out the unknown. The existence of Proxima b makes the search for alien life feel more tangible than ever before, giving us a real, nearby world to focus our hopes and instruments on. Kaku's predictions remind us that we're living in a unique moment in history, standing on the verge of answering one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions, are we truly alone in the universe? The silence of the universe which has endured for so long may soon be broken by a signal from the stars. The search is more urgent and thrilling than ever, as we stand ready to listen for the first whispers from another world. Proxima b orbits in the habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures could allow liquid water. On Earth, wherever there's water, there's life, so this is our best starting point. Because Proxima Centauri is a dim red dwarf, its habitable zone is much closer in. Proxima b orbits just 4.6 million miles from its star. This close orbit means it could have the right temperature for water, but also creates strange conditions. Proxima b is likely tidally locked, one side always faces the star, the other is in perpetual night. This creates extreme temperature differences, but a twilight zone between day and night might be mild enough for life. The habitable zone makes Proxima b a prime target for study. But habitability is more than just distance, it depends on atmosphere and magnetic field too. The Goldilocks zone is just the first clue. Proxima b checks the first box, but many questions remain. Its unique conditions make it both promising and mysterious. That's why the world's attention is fixed on our nearest neighbor. But Proxima Centauri is a violent star, notorious for powerful flares. In 2017, astronomers witnessed a superflare, ten times brighter than any seen before. For Proxima b, so close to its star, this meant a blast of deadly radiation. Such flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere and sterilize its surface. The problem isn't just one flare, but their relentless frequency. Proxima Centauri bombards Proxima b with radiation almost constantly. Over time this would erode any atmosphere and boil away water, it's a brutal environment for life to gain a foothold. The star's violence is the biggest argument against Proxima b's habitability. Even if life emerged, it would struggle to survive the next eruption. The excitement of discovery is tempered by this harsh reality. After the initial excitement, scientists took a closer look at Proxima b's chances for life. The verdict is sobering, intense, Frequent flares likely stripped away its atmosphere and sterilized the surface. There's no confirmed evidence of life, if anything, the evidence points the other way. Any oceans it once had would have boiled off long ago. Maybe, just maybe, life could survive deep underground shielded from radiation, but a vibrant surface biosphere is unlikely. The very thing that made Proxima b promising, its proximity to its star, also exposed it to destruction. It's a tragic, cosmic irony. But the search isn't over. Science is about discovering what's true, not what we hope. Each step refines our knowledge and sharpens our search. Proxima B's story is a lesson in the scientific process. Proxima B's story has huge implications for our search for life. Red dwarfs are the most common stars so their planets seemed like prime candidates. But Proxima B shows that a star's temperament matters as much as its habitable zone. Violent flares from red dwarfs may make many of their planets sterile. 
Astronomers now realize we can't just look for Earth-sized planets in the Goldilocks zone, we must study their stars too. This is the red dwarf conundrum, abundant stars but harsh environments. Maybe older, calmer red dwarfs are better targets or perhaps we should focus on sun-like stars. Proxima b has helped us refine our search, not set us back. We're learning where to look and where not to waste time. Every lesson brings us closer to finding life. So why keep searching even if Proxima b is likely lifeless? Because we don't know for sure, science thrives on uncertainty. The technology we develop to study Proxima b will help us explore countless other worlds. Telescopes like James Webb are training us to analyze exoplanet atmospheres. Even if we find nothing, we become better explorers. There's always a chance of life in unexpected places, maybe deep underground shielded from radiation. Until we can rule it out, the search continues. Proxima b was a wake-up call, focusing our attention and inspiring new generations. Every data point, positive or negative, is a piece of the cosmic puzzle. We search because the stakes are too high to stop. The story of Proxima b is a microcosm of our cosmic adventure. The dream of a living world next door may have faded but our sense of purpose is stronger. This isn't an ending, it's a new beginning. Our curiosity drives us to explore, to question, and to learn. With each new telescope and mission we get closer to surveying dozens of Earth-like worlds. Proxima b was just the first step. Billions of candidates await. The lessons we've learned will guide us as we search farther and deeper. Let's be inspired, not discouraged. The universe rewards perseverance. Proxima b reminds us that the cosmos is full of wonder and mystery. Our place is to explore, to learn, and to keep searching. The night sky is not a limit, it's an invitation. The adventure is just beginning.